What's up everyone, Max here, Muscle World. I've been a big fan of Under Armour for quite a while. I've been buying their compression shorts and compression tops, things like that. In 2008, I bought a pair of Under Armour compression shorts, uh, boxer shorts, and I absolutely loved them as well. So today I'm going to be reviewing their, I think it's their latest model for compression short. And it is these ones here, the Heat Heat Gear compression shorts. As with most Under Armour stuff, from what I found is they are very, very comfortable. In terms of quality, they don't feel as good as what they, they used to be like. They're made from a very kind of paper thin material. You might even be able to see me. I can certainly see you through them. I'm not sure if you can see my face, whether the lighting's there or not, but you can see pretty much straight through them, especially in the white color. So I've got a pair of them in, in gray and a pair in white as well. As far as I'm concerned, the white ones are just not really kind of wearable <laughs> anywhere because they just go so see-through, which is a shame because they are really comfortable. In my opinion, they do look good as well. They, they, they um, kind of make you look quite athletic and I actually, when I'm wearing these in the gym, I actually did have quite, you know, the occasional compliment thrown at me every now and then. But made with polyester and elastane, very, very thick kind of waistband, very good fit. They've got a, a, a pocket there on the side to put your mobile phone in. Compression level is okay, it's not the best, but it's also not the worst that i found. They come up to just kind of mid-thigh. What I did observe though was they just seem to get like, I'm not sure you can see here, and the stitching just seems to be kind of like not perfect. I'm pretty sure it also a hole appeared in this one actually, a very tiny hole appeared, but that wasn't after many uses. I've probably worn these about 10 times. So I would expect them to last longer. Uh, I mean, I still do have a few wears out of them, but I didn't expect to start seeing signs of wear after such a short amount of time. Oh no, I'm not really that impressed with this one. I think they could easily make them a bit better by, um, well, maybe not having such a big waistband initially. I personally think that's a bit too much. And making it out of a slightly more robust material. The original ones I bought were made from nylon and elastane, and they seem to feel a lot better and they seem to be a bit more durable as well, seem to be a bit thicker as well. Uh, I think what they've done is at the front they've created like a bit of a pouch, a bit, a bit of a pouch here, so it is kind of like, well it is a double lining, which which is good so it, it people can't see you, 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 you through through them from the front. Now I don't understand why they couldn't do that with the back to make that a little bit thicker, because that's the bit where it appears to be very thin, but like if you're running or on, you know, on a bike cycling, that's the bit that's going to be getting getting worn, uh, and also as well, you know, you don't want people to be able to see through that end either. So that would be a lot better in my opinion. So they're able to create it on the front. They're able to create it on the side with the with the pocket here. So I think if they can do that there and there, why can't they do that at the back? So if they did that uh, and they made it maybe out of nylon instead of polyester and the, and, and with the elastane as well, then these would probably be absolutely hundred percent perfect. So some people will wear these as undershorts. Uh, of course, you, you can do that if you want to. Uh, you can put a pair of shorts over the top. I have tried that, but personally, I feel I don't get the benefit of the compression or like, the freedom of movement, which those shorts do provide. So I would say in terms of comfort, absolutely brilliant. They're the most comfortable pair of shorts I've got. But it's just a shame that the um, positives of how, comfort they, they are, how comfortable they are um, and how good I think they look, it's kind of outweighed and overshadowed by the fact that they're too thin, particularly at the back. This waistband is, is just simply too big. So what I find, if I'm doing exercises, cleaning presses, cycling, or movements when I'm going up and down, burpees, for example, it just tends to fold over in the middle there and gets, you can even see the, <laughs> you can see the crease marks on it um, from where I've been training. So let down by that. If they, got, if they made that a little bit thinner, Maybe about 50 percent thinner. Maybe a bit thicker on the back. Not stupidly thick. Just maybe the same as, as the front bit. There's the crotch area, which like that is really comfortable. That crotch area, that's really good. That's, that's re really well designed. Then it would, it would probably be perfect shorts. These are the heat gear. So these are designed to keep you cool. I do find a difference between these and if I wear like my, my standard kind of gym shorts. Uh, they've got little kind of mesh vent panels here which is on the um kind of inside of the leg that is useful that does help you just get hot and sweaty particularly in that area never had any kind of chafing with these anyway so if you are considering buying these then uh they are relatively cheap they are one of the cheapest compression shorts you can get from under armor 
And they are better than the cheap rubbish that I've, I've bought from elsewhere. Quality and durability doesn't seem as good as what they used to be. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you want any other reviews on any of the kit. Let me know if you've used the shorts, what you think about them. Thank you so much for watching, guys. All the best. And I'll see you soon. Hope this information helps you. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.